flow class today, get our bodies all stretched out. So let's start with our right leg in front. We're gonna take the right arm up and over, just a nice little side bend. Coming back up, left arm up and over. Just really stretching out the sides of our body. Let's do that again, both sides. And last time here. And we're going to come up and over, right arm up and over, and then roll over the left leg, bringing your right arm down to the floor. And just let your head be heavy. Feel that nice stretch in the low back on your right. Deep breath in and out. We're going to restack our spine all the way back up to center. Take the arms forward right into our hip stretch for the right hip. One more deep breath in and out. And exhale, restack the spine all the way back up against your imaginary wall. We're gonna bring our left leg in front. Let's go ahead and take the left arm up and over. And coming up, right arm up and over. And two more like that, left arm up and over. And right arm up and over. And then we're gonna take the left arm up and over again. Rotate over the right leg, bringing the left hand down onto the floor. Let the weight of your head take you down so you feel a stretch in the lower back on your left and also through the left side of your body, into the neck and through the spine. Restack your spine all the way back up. Take the arms out to the middle of the room and straighten your spine, kind of flexing the hip over the leg so you feel that stretch in the left hip. One more deep breath in and out. And restack the spine all the way back up against our imaginary wall. We're gonna take our left leg, turn it around the other way, stretch over the legs. Coming down onto the forearm, keep this hip down as you reach away. We're gonna come up onto the hand, push the hips up and forward. Feel that nice stretch to the front of the hip. So really open that up today three more times. And two. And one. Gently bring the hips down. We're gonna go ahead and turn the legs the other way. And we're gonna stretch over the legs first. Come down onto the forearm, reach away. Make sure this hip stays down. And then we'll come up onto the hand, push the hips up and forward. Really think about pushing this hip forward, your right hip, so you get that opening through the front of the hip. Two more times, inhale. And exhale one more time. Very nice job, everybody. Let's go ahead and face our mat vertically. We're gonna extend our legs to the bottom corners of our mat and stretch forward. Let's move around a little bit. Maybe roll side to side on the hip. Kind of pushing or pulling yourself down over each leg as you go to the side. So you get that deeper stretch in your hamstring. Couple more times. And then coming to center, really flex the feet. Maybe move the feet around a little bit. Point, flex, make circles. Just warm up the ankles, warm up the backs of the legs. And then we'll start to bring our arms forward, shoulders down, drop the weight of the head. And then lead back with the pubic bone, roll back onto your mat. One bone at a time, point the toes, reach the arms overhead, press your body into the floor. And then exhale. Roll all the way back up, flex the feet, big stretch forward, and we have five more roll-ups. Inhale, lengthen, feel your body lengthen along the mat. Stretch forward and four more times. Pointing the toes, press the body into the floor, exhale up, big stretch forward. Three more. Two more. One more, make sure you're breathing, especially on the way up. I'm gonna scoot up a little bit on my mat. Take that stretch again, roll side to side on the hips, pulling yourself down a little deeper as you go to the right and to the left. And then coming back to center, we're gonna restack our spine all the way back up an imaginary wall. 
Keep the feet flexed, make a genie arm, just stack one arm on top of the other, and we're gonna rotate to one side on our exhale. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, rotate to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Just think about getting taller so you feel your core engage. And you stay right on the sharpest points of the sit bone. And just feel your spine rotating and stretching, exhaling and inhaling one more time. Squeeze out your spine like a little sponge. We're gonna bring our legs hip width, point the toes, pull the right leg in, start to roll back with control. We're gonna set up for 100. Once you get back onto the mat, we're gonna bring both legs to tabletop. Let's work in neutral today. So go ahead and release your imprint if you're an imprint. And we're gonna bring our arms down to our side, curl deeper, see your belly button sink down towards the spine. Open the knees, and if you want, send those legs out. Let's pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Squeeze the legs together. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Belly to the spine. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and inhale. Exhale. 40. 50. See if you can lower the legs a little bit lower. 60. 70, 80, keep pumping those arms everybody, 90, last 10, and 100, rest, just hug the knees in, roll side to side, deep breath in and out, so getting our bodies warmed up by using those 100s and roll ups today. We're going to go ahead and bring our feet flat on the mat, hip width apart. We're going to imprint, lift the hips up into a bridge as we bring the arms overhead. We're going to lower back down, start to slide your legs straight along your mat, arms come up, exhale, roll up, flex the feet, big stretch forward, restack the spine, we're going to bring our legs in hip width, hug the left knee in, point the toes, control your roll back into single leg stretch. Let's go ahead and take our left hand to the ankle, right hand to the inside of the knee, and then we're going to switch and switch. So your outside arm goes to the ankle as the knee comes in. Make sure you're in neutral. Really engage through those upper abs to stay curled up. And let's double time it. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Feel that burn through your core. Two, one and hug those knees in again, and roll side to side, deep breath in and out. We're gonna bring our feet back onto the mat, finding your neutral placement. Take the arms overhead as you roll up into a bridge. So really focus on opening up the front of the hip, keep your knees hip width. Then we're gonna roll back down nice and slow, keep that stretch through your spine. Start to extend the legs along the floor, arms come up, tuck chin to chest, Roll up, flex the feet, big stretch forward. Restacking the spine all the way back up. So we got a lot of ab work to get into today. Legs hip width apart, hug the right leg in, scoop and roll back with control into our double leg straight stretch. Let's work an imprint for our double leg straight stretch. Go ahead and pull that left knee in, center your hips, make sure you're an imprint, curl deeper. On your inhale, send the arms overhead and the legs out without losing your curl. Exhale, circle the arms, pull the knees back in. So remember, we wanna keep our imprint on the floor as our legs go out and as our arms go overhead. You're losing it, just lift the legs up a little more and focus on keeping your imprint. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more and hug those knees in, roll side to side. Relax any tension in the neck from holding our head up. Deep breaths in and out. We're gonna place our feet flat on the mat, hip width apart, imprint, roll up into your bridge as you lift those arms overhead. And then we're gonna soften through the heart, roll back down, engaging through the core so that we can slide our legs straight. Arms come up, tuck chin to chest, Exhale, roll up, flex the feet, big stretch forward. And at this time, I know it doesn't look like it, but my roll-ups are getting kind of tough because my abs are getting tired from doing our series of five. 
We're gonna restack our spine, bring the legs in hip width, hug the left knee in, slowly roll back into your scissors. Let's work our scissors again in imprint in case your hammies are tight. We're gonna take our left leg up, make sure you want your hips centered on the mat so like they're cemented. So we're gonna anchor through the right leg because that's the one that's out. Now as we switch, we're gonna anchor through the left hip because that's the leg that's out. So then that way your body doesn't start to like move around on your mat. Let's go ahead and start to do our scissors. We're just gonna switch, no pulses yet. Try to keep the legs straight. Let's add those pulses. So we pulse two times away, switch. Pulse, pulse, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale. More of a challenge, arms to the side of the body. Eight more. Six. Four. Two. Last one, hug those knees in and roll side to side, deep breath in and out. Bringing the feet back onto the mat, hip width apart. We're gonna imprint, roll up into our bridge as we take our arms overhead. Make sure you're melting the ribs down, glutes are engaged, soften through your heart, roll back down, engage the core to extend your legs so you don't arch your back. Arms come up, tuck chin to chest, exhale, roll up. Relax the feet, big stretch forward. <clears throat> We're gonna restack our spine. Bring the legs in hip width. Hug the right knee in. Start to roll back with control. We're going to do our lower lift. We are going to work an imprint again. Take the left leg up, then take the right leg up. Hands behind the head at the base of the skull. Keep your imprint. We're going to lower the legs and lift eight times. So only go as low as you can keep your low back from arching off the mat. Five more, inhale to lower, exhale to lift. Really see your belly pull inward, don't push out. Three more, two more, one more. Hug those knees in, give them a good hug towards your body and roll side to side. Deep breaths in and out. Place your feet on the mat, hip width apart. We're gonna imprint, roll up into our bridge as we bring the arms overhead. Soften through your heart, roll back down. Start to extend the legs, keeping the core engaged so you don't arch your back as you do that. Arms come up, tuck chin adjust. Exhale, roll up, flex the feet, big stretch forward. <clears throat> All right, we got our last series of five, which is our crisscross. So let's go ahead and hug the left knee in. We're going to scoop and roll back with control. Let's work in neutral for our crisscross. Once you're in this position, we're going to bring our hands behind the head at the base of the skull, and you're going to rotate towards that left knee. Remember, we're anchoring through the right hip because that's the leg that's out. As we switch, you're going to switch your anchor to your left hip. So you want to feel like your hips are cemented to the mat. <clears throat> keeping that imaginary teacup balanced on top of your pelvis. So as we rotate, we're not tipping it to the side. Let's double time it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, stretch your legs. Two, one, and rest. Roll side to side, deep breath in and out. We're gonna place our feet on the mat, hip width apart again. Take a deep breath in to prepare, arms at your side. Exhale, imprint, roll up into your bridge as we take the arms overhead. Now we're gonna keep our arms here as we roll down one bone at a time. Take an inhale, prepare. Exhale, imprint, as we roll up, we're gonna switch and bring our arms down to our side. We're gonna stay here again, making sure the ribs are down, your glutes are engaged. We're gonna bring our right leg up to tabletop. We're gonna reach it out so that the thighs are parallel. Keep your right hip up and pull it back in for four. Three, two, one. Replace your foot on the mat, center your weight in your hips. Again, ribs down, glutes engaged, left leg to tabletop. Reach out, pull it in for four. Keep the left hip lifted so it's parallel to the right hip. 
One more. And bring your foot down, center your weight in your feet. Take a deep breath in, and as we soften through the heart to roll down, let's take those arms overhead again. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Inhale, prepare, exhale, imprint, rolling up into your bridge. Again, ribs are down, glutes are engaged. Right leg to tabletop. Reach out, pull it in, four. Three, keep this hip up, two. One, replace your foot on the mat, center your weight in your hips, left leg to tabletop, reach it out, inhale, pull it in, exhale, four, three, two, one, replace your foot on the mat, center your weight, the ribs down, hips lifted, soft and roll down, take those arms over head. Find your neutral, extend your left leg along the floor, Take the arms down to the sides like the letter T. Palms are facing down. We're gonna reach the right leg up, right into our single leg circles, crossing the midline. The hip comes off, but not the shoulder. Circle down, out to the side, back up. Inhale for half your circle. Exhale for the other half. So we're getting a little twist through the rib cage, through the spine. Shoulder blades staying against the floor. And this should feel really good in the hip joint. Let's do three more and then we'll reverse our circle. Two. <clears throat> One. We're gonna meet with our leg up to the ceiling. Keep again, anchoring through that left hip. You're gonna go out to the side. Circle down, cross your midline. Hip comes off at the shoulder. And then pull that hip back onto the mat. The leg will follow. Smooth it out. Six more times. Five, really reach through your leg like you're trying to touch the walls and the ceiling. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna hug the knee in towards our body and then hug it in towards your chest or arm, sorry, towards your armpit or shoulders so you get a little opening in your hip. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We're gonna extend this leg along the mat, center your hips, arms out to the side, left leg reaches up. Cross the midline, hip comes off but not the shoulder. Circle down, out to the side and up. And again, really stretch through your leg like you're trying to touch the walls and the ceiling. So we're getting that length out of the hip joint. Keep reaching through your right leg to keep the right hip on the mat as your leg goes out to the side and up one more time. We're gonna meet with our leg up, let's reverse it out to the side, down, cross the midline, pull that hip back, leg follows. Inhaling and exhaling. Five more everybody. Four, keep stretching and reaching out of your left hip, three, Two, one. We're gonna hug the left knee in towards our chest and eyeball, and then bring it over to the side towards your shoulder and armpit. Keep stretching through this right leg. Deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. We're gonna release that, roll on to your left side, <clears throat> resting your head on your arm. Find your mouse house. We're gonna bring our feet forward so they're at the bottom front corner of the mat, so the legs are slightly in front of you. Keep your mouse house, we're gonna take the top leg, turn it out, make sure this top hip doesn't roll to the back. So if you're feeling a stretch in here, it means that your hips roll to the back. So make sure it stays stacked over the bottom hip. We're gonna take our top leg and we're gonna go right into lifting and lowering. Exhale and inhale, just like your leg circles, reach out of the leg. So the leg is reaching away in order for it to lift up. Five, I'm just keeping my toe pointed today. Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna come down, we're gonna turn our leg to parallel, lifted hip width, 
Flex the foot, swing it forward without losing your mouse house. Point the toe, and I want you to turn it out again as you reach to the back, and just give that hip a nice stretch. Flex forward, point, reach to the back corner of your room. Exhale forward, inhale, stretch it back. Anchor through your bottom leg, and keep your mouse house. We got four more. Three more. No pulses, we're just swinging it forward and back today. Two more. <clears throat> One more time. We're gonna bring this leg down to the bottom leg. Move your legs back so now your whole body's in alignment with the front edge of your mat. Keeping your mouse house, reach through both legs so far that they come up into a hover off your mat. If you want more of a challenge for your balance, we're gonna take this right arm overhead, shoulder down. Top leg is gonna lift and lower, staying in parallel, so keep your toe and knee looking forward the whole time. Exhale, inhale. Five more, five, four, three, two. You're gonna hold that leg up, bottom leg lifts to meet it. Think about squeezing right from where your thigh meets your pelvis. Exhale, inhale, five more, five, squeeze four, Squeeze three, squeeze two, squeeze one, both legs together. We're gonna to do a stagger. Top leg, bottom leg, hover both. Lift, lift, hover. Lift, lift, hover. As you lift that bottom leg, keep your top hip from rolling back and also keep your mouse house. Three more, starting to feel that burn in the top of the hip. <clears throat> two more. One more, squeeze both legs together, little lifts. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful job, you guys. We're gonna uh, bend the knees, push yourself all the way up, swing the legs around, let's go right into the other side. So resting our head on our arm, the first exercise, our legs are gonna be slightly forward. Find your mouse house. Make sure this hip isn't rolled back. So again, if you're feeling a stretch in here, it means your hips rolled back. So bring it forward so that it's stacked. Top leg, we're gonna turn it out, reach through the leg. So you're stretching the leg out in order to lift it for 10. Nine, we're just keeping our toes pointed today for this one. Seven, six, keep your mouse house as you lift your leg. Four, three, Two, one, we're gonna bring that leg down, turn it to parallel, lift it up hip width, flex the foot, swing it forward. Now you're gonna point the toe, and as it goes to the back, you're gonna turn it out again. Flex forward, exhale, point, stretch it back, inhale. Keep anchoring through your mouse house and through the bottom leg. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more time. We're gonna go ahead and bring that top leg down to the bottom leg in parallel and then move your legs back so your whole body is now in alignment with the front edge of the mat. Maintaining your mouse house, keeping this hip stacked over the bottom hip. We're gonna reach through both legs so far that they come up into a hover. For those of you who want to challenge your balance, take your top arm overhead, shoulder down. Top leg is gonna stay looking forward as we lift and lower for 10. Nine, eight, keep reaching through your legs. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna keep our top leg up, bottom leg lifts to meet it, right from where your pelvis your thigh connects to your pelvis. That's where you wanna think about squeezing. So the inner thighs are getting closer together as you lift. Squeeze, squeeze, one more time. Squeeze, we're gonna lower the legs into a hover. Now we're gonna stagger, top leg lifts, bottom leg lifts, hover both. Lift, lift, hover. Lift, lift, hover. Sometimes when we lift that bottom leg, the top hip will want to roll to the back you'll also want to res um, collapse your mouse out, so try to resist that. So we're really only lifting as far as you can keep that stability 
in your pelvis. Starting to feel that burn on the top side of the hip. One more time here. Keep both legs together, little lifts. 10, nine, eight, these are small. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring the hand down, bend the knees and push ourselves to the other side, swinging the legs around. You're gonna come onto your forearm. <clears throat> We're going to separate the feet so that the top foot is forward, bottom foot is back. And you want to be on the sides of the feet. So you want to resist that happening. You also want to resist that happening where you're coming to the top of the foot. So really flex the feet. So you're working the muscles in here to keep your weight on the sides of the foot. We're going to pull the shoulder back. Top hand on your hip if you want to challenge your balance. If not, keep it here. And we're gonna lift our bottom hip off the mat. Try to find even weight in your feet. Both of my heels, the sides of my heels are in contact with the mat. And my back leg is off the mat, not on the mat. Pull the shoulders back more. We're gonna lower the hip just a little bit and then lift up for 10, nine, eight, seven. You're just lifting to a straight spine, six, Five, four, three, two, woo, one. Go ahead and lower down, bend the knees. We're gonna open the feet so that the left foot is in front of the right knee. And let's take a side bend to stretch out that side body that we were just working. Circle the arm down, reach out one more time, up and over. Circle the arm down. We're gonna swing our legs around to the other side. Coming onto the forearm. Top foot is forward, so I'm kind of heel to toe. This shoulder's back. Top hand can stay here or challenge your balance, bring it onto your hip. Pushing into the sides of the feet, we're gonna lift our bottom hip. So that back leg, your bottom leg, the whole leg comes off the floor. Find your balance. Find a straight spine, make sure this hip doesn't roll back. We're gonna lower the hips a little bit, lift back up. As you lower your hips, the shoulder does not change. So keep pushing it down and back. Seven more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently bring the hips down. We're gonna push ourselves up, opening up the feet so your right toes are by the left knee. And we're gonna stretch up and over to open up that side that we were just working. Circle the arm down, reach it out, and back up one more time. And then circle the arm down. We're gonna just pivot our body so we're coming into a quadruped position. So hands right over or under the shoulders, knees right under your hips, making sure your sits bones look straight behind you, not up or down. So just nice and neutral through our spine. Again, sit bones looking straight back. Shoulders down and back. We're gonna take our right leg, reach it back. And then we're gonna pull knee towards nose, round your spine. Inhale, send it back again. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And as you lengthen your spine, you can add a little leg lift to engage the glute. Just make sure you don't dump into your low back. Inhale, five more times, everybody. Five. Four. Hold strong with the shoulders. Three. Two. One. We're gonna bring that knee down. Let's switch to the left without allowing the hips to shift. Extend the left leg, reach it back, knee to nose. Exhale, inhale. So we're kind of rounding the spine a little bit as we bring the knee to the nose. And then we're lifting the spine and lengthening it as we stretch it back. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. We're gonna go feet apart, sorry, feet together, knees apart. 
sit back towards your hips or towards your heels so you get an opening through your hips. Then we're gonna send the arms forward to rest our shoulders. Let's do two deep breaths in and out here. And then we're gonna go ahead and come up into a full plank. You can also do this on your forearms if you don't like to be on your hands. Extend one foot and then the other. Let's go legs hip width apart, shoulders down. We're gonna bring our right knee to opposite elbow, round the spine, hold it, finish your exhale. Inhale, put it back down. Exhale, left knee to opposite elbow, hold it. Inhale, put it back down. So that's our exercise. Exhale, bring it in, hold. Inhale back. Exhale, pull it in, hold. So just slowing this one down. Inhale back. We got six more sets. So really getting into the breath. Five more. Really starting to feel those obliques working and burning. Four more. Stay strong in the shoulders. Three more. Two more. Ooh, I'm feeling that burn. Shoulders are starting to get tired. Stay strong. We got one more set. Gently bring the knees down so they like you later. Feet together, knees wide. Sit back again, reaching through the arms. Deep breath in and out. Let's hold here for four deep breaths in and out. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. Catch your breath. Everything's working in that one. One more deep breath in and out. And we're gonna restack our spine all the way back up. So if you weren't sweating before that one, you should be sweating now. We're gonna cross the ankles, roll over the feet, slide up on the mat. Knees bent, feet flat on the mat, hip width apart, grab the backs of your legs, and we're gonna roll back bone by bone. And now we're gonna practice some teasers. So arms at your side, palms facing down. Tuck chin to chest, curl the head and shoulders off the mat, allowing the arms to come up like you're reaching towards your knees. Imprint the low spine and exhale, roll all the way up. Find the sharpest points of your sits bones here. So we want hip flexion. Make sure your knees don't go out to the side so they're still in alignment with your hips. Take the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, float the arms down to your side as you lead back with the pubic bone and roll back onto the mat. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, find that length at the top. Exhale, scoop and roll back down. We got one more time here and then we're gonna do single leg teasers. So for single leg, we're gonna bring our legs together, extend the right leg, the knees are still connected, and let's roll up. You're gonna to come to the back of the sit bones here. We're finding our teaser shape. Tight tails tucked under, upper mid back is straight. And then we're gonna scoop and lower back down, switching legs at the bottom. So try to keep the knees together as you roll up. Find the back of the sit bone. Really stretch through that left leg. Scoop and roll back down. It's a lot more challenging. One more each side. One more time, then we'll take a little rest. Equal weight in your sit bones. Roll it back down. Bottoms of the feet together, knees wide. You can rest your hands on your belly or at your side. Just take a couple deep breaths in and out here. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. One more. We're gonna extend our legs out for some advanced teasers. Feel free to pull your legs into tabletop as we start to roll up. 
Arms to the side of the body, tuck chin and chest. We're gonna curl the head and shoulders off the mat, reaching the arms up just like the last exercise. You're gonna lengthen your tailbone to your heels so much that the legs start to come up. And then you just continue lifting the body and the legs until you're in your teaser. If your hamstrings are tight, just bend the knees here to release the back of your legs so that you can lift up. We're gonna scoop and roll back, leading back with our pubic bone. Keep scooping, scooping, scooping. When your low spine touches the mat, your legs will be down, and then you lower the rest of your body. Let's do that again. I'll mark it again. Tuck chin to chest, curling up, lift the arms. Now lengthen the tailbone to the heels so far that the legs start to come up, and then you just keep lifting. Find your teaser, either legs straight or knees bent. Scoop and roll back down, reach through your legs. When your low spine touches, the legs will come down. And then we lower the rest of the body. We're gonna do two more. One more. Bottoms of the feet together, again, knees wide. Catch your breath, let your heart rate come down a little bit. Deep breathing in and out. So we're kind of recovering from our teaser. One more deep breath in and out. We're gonna to start to extend our legs out. And as wide as our mat, take the arms overhead, point your toes, press your body into the floor, and exhale, roll up. Flex the feet, big stretch forward. That roll up will be pretty tough. We're gonna restack our spine here after taking a little stretch. Then we're gonna lean back a little bit, bring your hands behind you, fingertips face your body. Make sure your hands are at least as wide as your shoulders. Don't have them real narrow. You'll feel the difference. It'll be more comfortable when your hands are wide. And we're gonna bring our legs together and point our toes. I want you to keep your ankles connected. Toes and knees look straight up to the ceiling. And we're gonna open up the front of our body after doing our teasers with a reverse, a reverse plank. So we're gonna pull the shoulders back. Imagine the zipper from your pubic bone to your belly button. You're gonna zip that up, lifting the heart up. Press the hips up. You're going to look at your hips, at your belly as you lift. And then we're going to slowly lower back down. Keep pushing the hands into the floor. Let's do that again. Pull the shoulders back. Zip your zipper up. Lift the heart. And lift the hips. And then lower back down. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale this. So we're actually bringing our shoulder into extension. And lower back down. Give your knees a nice hug in towards your body. So because our shoulder's coming into extension in those, you are gonna feel a nice stretch in your bicep, maybe even into your forearm. So let's go ahead and lie on our stomach for some swimming. We'll open up our body again with some extension. So take the arms out. We're gonna turn the legs out hip width apart. Just like our teasers, we're gonna lengthen our tailbone to our heels before we lift. You'll feel like you're pressing your pelvis into the floor. Lift the head, chest, belly, lengthen the tailbone more, lift the arms so you feel all that work in your abs and your back, and then lift the legs. We're gonna lower the right arm, left leg, and then switch, and we're gonna slowly pick up our pace, making sure we're on opposites, so we're swimming. Your pelvis should feel like it's cemented to the floor, just like your series of five. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, pull the belly up, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, and four, and two more sets, three, four, and exhale, navel to the spine, and one more set, three, four, and exhale, two, three, and four, reach everything out, Lower down, push yourself into a shell stretch. You can have your knees apart or legs together. We're gonna sit back and bring our arms to our side, resting the forehead on the floor so that our back is more rounded. Couple deep breaths in and out.
We're gonna go ahead and come on to our forearms, lace the hands together, and we're gonna step the legs back into a full plank with the legs together. Make sure your hips are down. Make sure you're not sinking into your low back like that, so engage through your core. And make sure your butt's not up. Keeping the ankles close, we're going to point the toes to rock forward on our arms. Flex the feet to rock back. Inhale forward, exhale back. So just a little sawing motion through our shoulder blades. Six more. Five more. Four more, shoulder blades feel like they're flat against your back. Three more, two more, one more. Gently bring your knees down so they like you later. Let's go back into our shell stretch. Legs together or apart, arms at the side. Couple deep breaths in and out. Now we're gonna, again, come onto the forearms, lacing the hands together. Have your knees be right underneath your hips. And then we're gonna curl the toes under, keeping the legs together. You're gonna press your hips up to the ceiling into a pike. Shoulders down, sit bones lifted. You can look forward at your hands with your head if you'd like. And we're gonna do the same motion, pointing the feet and flexing. Inhale, point, exhale, flex. So you'll feel a little bigger range of motion. There's not, there's not so much focus on our core here. This is gonna be mostly your mid back and your shoulders. Let's do five more. Inhale, exhale. Four. Three. Two. One. Gently bring the knees down and let's again rest in a little shell stretch. Arms at the side. Let's take two deep breaths in and out. From here, we're going to restack our spine into our kneeling seated position. Tension is the last thing to lift. All right, you guys, let's work a little bit into a little push-up position. First, we'll do some opposite shoulder taps to stabilize the hips, and then we'll have different variations for a push-up. So let's go ahead and come on out into our quadruped position. You're just gonna move your hands out about one foot, 12 inches, and then bring your hips forward. Shoulders down. Now, making sure your legs are hip-width apart, we're gonna pick up our right hand and tap the left shoulder. Press into your right knee a little more. Bring the hand down, and then same thing on the left. So you will feel your weight shift to, into like a, a, the knee, the side of the hand that's picking up. So when I pick up my right hand, my weight's gonna be mostly my right knee. So even though your weight is shifting, you wanna resist that shifting in your body. So you're gonna feel this nice connection all the way up through here as you pick the hand up. Let's just do four more. Four, three, two, one. Now you can stay here, open up the hands a little wider, cross the ankles, lift your feet, keep your hips forward for your push-ups. You could do your push-ups here. For those of you who wanna come into a plane, just lift up, legs can be together or apart. And let's all do 10 push-ups. Inhale, bend, exhale, up. Remember, your elbows look slightly out to the side. Your belly and your head stays lifted. Keep your own count. Only go down as far as you know you can push yourself up. When you're finished, rest in a shell stretch. Gently bringing the knees down so they like you later. And a couple deep breaths in and out. Letting the heart rate come down a little bit and catching our breath. On your next inhale, let's go ahead and restack our spine into our seated kneeling position. Nice stretch through our back. 
And we're gonna go ahead and sit on our left hip for some side bending and then we will stretch. So we're gonna just do a side bend, no twisting today. We'll save the twisting. We already did crisscross, we did a little spinal twist. We'll do another twist in our stretch. So let's just do a simple side bend. The first one, I'm gonna keep my knee down for an easier variation because it keeps your, makes your lever shorter, which makes it easier for your body. So we'll keep the knee down, rotate the right palm up. Again, shoulders back, press into the knuckles of this hand. And we're gonna push our hips up and forward, bottom knee stays on the mat. You're just trying to find a straight line from the center of your head all the way down the center of your body. So you wanna make sure you're not like that. So just center. Then we're gonna arch over our mat. So now we're changing the shape of our spine. We're gonna come back to that center long line and then slowly put the hips down. The shoulder never changes. So that's a nice variation where your knee is down. For the next three, I'm gonna pick my bottom knee up for a harder variation. So we're gonna come up. If you wanna squeeze the inner thighs together, pick those bottom toes up, and then we're gonna arch over the mat. Lengthen back to your long line. Bend the knees if you're up, slowly lower the hips. My bottom toes stay curled under. Let's do it again. Inhale up, two breaths. Exhale down. So now we're smoothing it out. Two more times, inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Good job, shake it out. It's a lot of work on this shoulder because that shoulder just has to stay. So shake that out, move your shoulder around, shake out your wrist, we'll go to the other side. First one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep my knee down again. First two, we're gonna do it out of four breaths and then we'll smooth it out into a two breath. So left hand on the knee, palm facing up. This shoulder is back and down, it doesn't change. And we're gonna push our hips up and forward, inhale. Find that center line and then exhale, change your shape. Arch over your mat. Inhale, center again. Exhale, hips go back and down. This shoulder just stays. All right, inhaling up, curl the bottom toes under. If you want to engage through a full side plank, squeeze this part of your legs together. Find your center line and then exhale over. Inhale back to your center line. Exhale, bend the knees, hips slowly go back and down. My bottom foot stays curled under and let's take it in a two breath. Inhale up and over. You're still connecting those inner thighs if you're coming all the way up. Exhale back and down. Two more. One more. Good job, everybody. Shake out your wrist. Shake out the shoulder. It's a lot of work because this shoulder has to just hold. So it's isometrically contracting throughout that exercise. Let's go ahead and come into a quadruped position. We're gonna step our left foot forward and come into our single thigh stretch. Feels so good. Let's just open up those hips after doing all of our teasers and our series of five and our roll-ups. Slowly bring your hands onto the knee if you feel okay with your balance. Imagine a zipper from your pubic bone to your belly button. You're just gonna zip that up so you deepen that stretch to the front of your hip. Take your right arm high. If he feels okay for you, add a gentle back bend. So all you're doing is opening up this side again. We're gonna go ahead and melt the ribs down. Bring the arm in front of you and let's add our rotation and our stretch. Circle the arm up, bring it to the outside of your left knee, left arm forward. You're gonna push against the outside of your left knee to rotate away. Circle the arm up, bring your hands onto the floor, extend your front leg, slide it back about one inch so you can square your hips. So really focus on pulling that left hip back. We're gonna round the spine and then we're gonna arch the spine. We're gonna hold the arch. When you do that, you're gonna feel a deeper stretch in your hamstring. And then we're gonna flex the foot.
point the toes again, keep arching your back, lifting those sit bones, relax the foot again. One more time, point, relax. We're gonna hold this, for those of you who wanna practice your split, slide your front leg forward, square your hips first, and then you can turn out your back leg and come down, don't judge me, I'm very tight. I haven't been practicing my splits. And then we'll slowly slide the front leg in if you're in your split stretch, and then everyone's gonna sink back into their hip flexor stretch. We're gonna start to curl the back toes under, lift the knee, bring your hands onto the mat, and step your left foot back into a pike. Shoulders down, we're gonna start to pedal out our feet, Kind of shaking out that stretch on our right. Remember, ribs down, sit bones lifted, so you're getting that deep stretch through your legs. Let's hold one side down. And then switch. Both heels down. Bend the knees, look forward. You're gonna step your right foot forward. Gently bring your back knee down. Uncurl the toes. And now we're in our hip flexor stretch on the left. If you feel okay with your balance, go ahead and start to bring your hands onto the front knee. Imagine a zipper from your pubic bone to your belly button. You're going to zip that zipper up. So you're deepening that stretch on the left and we're protecting the low back. Left arm high and if it feels okay for you, go ahead and take a little gentle back bend. Melt the ribs down to bring the arm forward. You're going to rotate to your back leg. Circle the arm up, bring that hand to the outside of your right knee, right arm forward, rotate away. Big circle up, bring the hands onto the back, slide your front leg straight and pull it back about an inch so you can pull this hip back. We're going to round the spine and then straighten the spine, kind of arching it. Hold that arch so you feel that deeper stretch in your hamstring. Flex your foot and point. Keep arching as you flex and point. One more time. And then we're going to flex and stay. For those of you who want to practice your split, just slide that front leg out. Just be gentle. Square the hips first. And then you can turn your back leg out and come down a little bit deeper into your split. Pick your body up, slide your front leg in, back into your hip flexor stretch, everybody. Curl the back toes under, lift the knee, bring your hands onto the floor, step your right foot back into a plank, shoulders down, ribs down, sit bones lifted, and start to pedal out your feet. We're going to hold one side down. Notice that you can get your heel farther towards your mat now. Deep breath in, other side. Deep breath in, both heels down. We're gonna take our right leg high, bend the knee, cross your midline. Shoulders down, equal weight in your hands. Open up that hip again and drive your left heel down. We're gonna rotate our right hip down, bringing our foot down onto the mat. Both heels down, shoulders down. Left leg high, bend the knee, cross your midline, open up your hip, keep weight in your hands, now drive your right heel down. Rotate the hip down, bring your foot back onto the mat. Gently, we're going to bring our knees down, cross the ankles, roll over your feet, and come to a seated position with your legs crossed in front. We'll go right foot in front, or right leg in front. We're going to take an inhale, left arm up and over. Coming back up, right arm up and over. Rotate towards your left leg. Bring your right hand onto the floor. Keep this hip down, keep this knee down. And just allow your, the weight of your head to pull your right side of your spine and low back into a stretch. We're going to place our right hand on our knee. 
Start to lift the chest, and as you do that, I want you to push that knee away. The shoulder's gonna roll forward a little bit, that's okay. We're gonna start to do these little hinging pulses down over the right leg. As you do that, you keep pushing this knee away. And then we're gonna hold. And you're gonna feel a deeper stretch in your low back and into your hip on your right. We're opening up our iliopsoas here. Gently release it, bringing your hand back onto the floor, let your head be heavy. And then very slowly restack your spine and just focus on feeling that stretch on the right side of the spine as you restack. Right up into the neck. Head's the last thing to lift. It feels so good. Let's do the other side. So left foot in front. We're gonna take the right arm up and over. Coming back up, left arm up and over. Rotate over the right leg, bring your left hand onto the floor. Let the weight of your head pull your spine into a stretch. So you're feeling that all the way into your left low back, all the way up through the left side of your neck. We're going to go ahead and bring our left hand onto our left knee. Start to push it away as you lift your heart up. The shoulder's going to roll forward. That's okay. Just keep pushing that knee away. And then we're going to start to do these little pulses forward over the left leg. Your right, my left, your right leg. Keep your left hip down. And then we're going to hold. Try to release any gripping in your hips as you're stretching. You're gonna feel a really deep stretch in your low back on your right and into the hip on your right, very deep on the inside. We're stretching our iliopsoas. Gently bring the hand back onto the floor. Let your head be very heavy again. And then very slowly restack your spine so you're focusing on feeling that stretch through the right side of, sorry, your left side of your spine, all the way into your neck. Chin is the last thing to lift. We'll come back to center. Let's just go ahead and go ear to shoulder. Make sure the shoulders are back. Equal weight on your sit bones. And then other side. And coming back to center. Excellent class, everybody. I hope you enjoyed class today. You got some nice stretches and